Heart blocks can be tricky jaunts to identify for students. These are blocks in the heart's electrical conduction system, and it's often due to decay of the cardiac conduction system due to disease or old age. And some medications can cause heart blocks, especially calcium channel blocker and beta blocker overdoses. In a heart block, you have a P wave that is all amped up and ready to go do its thing and shoot its QRS load. However, something's cock blocking the P wave and it can't dump its load. So you just have this one sad little like cuck P wave standing there all sad because he can't get in on the action. There are four flavors of heart blocks, first, second, and third degree. But wait, that's only three. Well, just to make it even more complicated and convoluted for everyone, there are two types of second degree heart blocks. First degree blocks are really no big deal. And the P wave does eventually get to jump in on the action and dump its load, but there's a delay. The PR interval is going to be greater than 0.2, which is five small boxes. First degree blocks are usually pretty benign. And if I'm being totally honest, I usually only catch them when the EKG strip prints out. And I thought it was a sinus rhythm and I look at the strip and I'm like, huh, no shit, it is a first degree AV block. There are two types of second degree AV blocks. Second degree type one, also known as Mobitz one or Wanky Bach, indicates a little more heart disease. Here you have a progressively longer PR interval. So you have a P wave that's dumping its load. Then the next P wave takes a little bit longer to dump its load. Maybe it's on Zoloft. And then the next P wave takes even longer. And then eventually a P wave just gets performance anxiety and can't fire off its QRS load. That's why they say longer, longer, longer drop. You're in wanky Bach. Second degree type two, AKA Mobitz two, tends to be a bigger deal. This indicates a higher level of cardiac disease. Here you have normal P waves with normal QRSs, but sometimes you get a P wave that can't hack it and can't fire off its load. That's why they say normal, normal, normal till one falls through. You're in Mobitz too. This can also happen at regular intervals. That's why you'll hear things like a two to one block ratio or a three to one block ratio and so on and so on. Third degree heart blocks, also known as complete heart blocks, are a big deal. This is when you have complete atria and ventricular electrical dissociation. The SA node is firing at a normal rate, but unbeknownst to him, he's shooting blanks. The ventricles are waiting and waiting and waiting for him, but they aren't getting the message. And she's like, fine, I guess I'll just have to do it myself. She then takes care of business for herself and depolarizes, which fires off a heartbeat. Since the ventricles fire at a much slower intrinsic rate than the SA node or the AV node, you have a slower heart rate. It's also a regular rhythm because both the atria and the ventricles are firing at their normal inherent rates and rhythms. There's just a block between the two. And that is an explanation of heart blocks that could get me canceled, but it's going to stick in your head.